All right, so here I am. This is State of Mind, and if you like what you see, I know you're going to like what you see on, on the other end here. Uh, just hit the little button. Let me do it with this hand, this little, this button right there. You sure you're pulling at the right spot? Yeah, that's it right there. See? Okay, I see. Um, who do I have? Mm -hmm. Well, I, I actually have, I don't know if it's my, my first girlfriend. I believe I had to have been the first. My first girlfriend. What about Kate Howard? I'm not sure. I, it doesn't... There's, there's a lot of dispute. Okay, okay. There's a lot, there's of, all, there's disputed, a lot of dispute. Disputed. My first girlfriend, but I know that she is um, the mother of my child. Of your first child, of correct. My first child, Dantita. Dantito. And, and... Middle -aged, already a middle aged man. Yeah, now he's, he's, <laughs> That's older, how he knows he's first. older than I am. <laughs> <laughs> oh. All right, but uh, what can I say about her? Um, I am going to say this about her. She's very talented, Ooh. very pretty. <laughs> Thank you, Maurice. I don't know if the, what that that matters or not, but it, 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 I don't know well, if it matters. In terms but of booking a soap job, it helps sometimes. Yeah, when you're on a soap, I it was. does help. She's very sweet. And, and let me tell you something. And I'm not trying to – I don't mean this – in a like a an egotistical way mm -hmm. but the way she responded when I won an Emmy when I didn't think I was gonna win I really didn't think I was gonna win I was I don't know it just blew me away just what that I was you would that I was no, so happy for I you? know you'd be respond but you really <laughs> responded. Thrilled. I know, but it's like, <laughs> you know, <laughs> sometimes that's, that's I funny. sometimes I just don't know, you know, like you know, like you thought I'd be like, no, I knew you'd be happy, yeah, but yeah. there was a, a thing it about it, natural and when I saw it on camera, oh, okay. Anyway, that's that. That's that. Well, well, her name is Lisa. Can you say it? No, Cicero. It's only taken 13 years, my, my dude. And I can't say the Dominic's <laughs> name. Either, so I'm probably living. Okay, I get you. How you doing, darling? I'm having a wonderful day. Good. I was very honored that you asked me here to do your show. Wow. Today. Thank you. Um, I'm not entirely sure what we're going to talk about. I know it's a mental... It comes up. I'll show, but whatever. It doesn't matter. I mean, I feel, like, I feel like in the years that I've been on the show with you, I feel like I've watched you grow, grow up. I feel a little bit like a proud mama with you. Yes. I've watched you shed a number of social social oh, masks yeah, yeah, in a yeah, certain yeah. sense yes. and sort of become a lot of different people. And, and, and you've actually, over the years, you've been very revelatory with me about some of your things and your struggles and your things. and A lot, yeah. You know, and mental health is for me, I, would be my definite second uh, line of work if I, I did a master's program in something called spiritual psychology. And even like I think of myself when I was a little kid going to garage sales with my mom and I'd be buying like Freud's Sexual Enlightenment of Children and the Kubler-Ross books on death and dying. And I was really fascinated with the, with this state of – with really? mental states and – and mental health and, and what makes what makes people tick. I mean, I think that's that's inherent in an actor. So what you did know? you what is a spiritual thing? I'm into that. What, it, what you'd love it, dude. You'd love it. I mean it's it's a lot of classical um uh psychology theories like Carl Rogers or Fritz Perls, all that stuff, like you know, Gestalt theory or uh, all that kind of stuff. But but it takes into consideration the fact that if you're not addressing the spiritual aspect of the person you're screwed. I mean, you're kind I'm of pissing, you. you're kind of pissing in the wind. Yes. If you're just going to make it about like yes. a clinical, you can talk until you're 500 yes. years old about I did this and I felt that. But if you're not treating the entire person, you're not going anywhere. That yeah. has to be part of the. And it's not like rainbows and unicorns and and like angels and so. I mean, it's it's not all. Woo, I guess people call it. Woo, well, woo, it, woo. it could involve meditation. Oh, for sure. But that's yoga I mean, and you know. But but that even is like meditation is nowadays it's like brushing your teeth yeah if, if you're not you you at this point with what's going on out there in the world right now if you're not cleaning up your mind every day you let me tell you you something. better fucking know how to pray because you're going yes. you're going down a, you let know me what tell I mean? you something. When, when i was going through you know i went through and during the pandemic sure sure i was trying to do it all okay i worked out yes i met 
and I feel emotional right now. Like I'm gonna, this is gonna be a very emotional state of mind, and and I know it is because I can feel it. Well, I'm trained, so I can take it in. <laughs> Truly. Um, I tried everything, you know, meditate. And I even, uh, I called Laura. We talked on the phone. She gave me this guy to, to uh, meditate to, and and I did it. I did it d- diligently, and nothing worked. Mm-hmm. Okay. What do you mean by worked? Well, go ahead. Well, it didn't again. help me. Okay. Because I was so out of it. it nothing was going to help me. The only thing that helped me, thank God, and I was probably two months too late, was professional help, medication. Okay. Okay, and it saved my life, literally. And what's funny, though, and I tell this story, is during that period, I would go out to the goats and the alpacas mm-hmm. and I couldn't I couldn't see them. You couldn't see them. Not not literally, but you weren't connecting not to that no aspect it, of nature that used to not at all. Going. And I was just like, okay, okay. So now that I'm better, mm-hmm. I went home, you know, I've gone home quite a few times and the goats and stuff are there and they're like three D. It is That's so, like, you know, I mean, they're there and and you're able to I'm perceive crying. them and take them in. Yeah, and meditating Beautiful. to the same guy. Yeah, now it's I... a different thing. Yeah. Well, that is another another thing that is worth. I mean, we talk about free will and our choice, our personalities, and he's this way and she's that way. But at a certain point, you and me are just like a couple little pink bags of water full of chemicals. Yes. I mean, there's that aspect of who you are and what. You know that when they start injecting you with uh, with with hormones when you're trying to get pregnant and all that stuff, and you're like, you're like, yeah, me, me, zzz, brr, zzz, like it, the, the your hormones and your chemicals in your brain, you're loaded with dopamine, you're loaded with testosterone or estrogen, yes, whatever. Yes, like, yes. you try to tell someone not to be an asshole when they're loaded up with testosterone. I right. mean, there's, it's no, it's it's. So it, we, we, after you got pregnant, uh-huh. did you go through stuff? I went through before. I went through oh. all the things trying to get pregnant at the age of forty four, forty five. I went through all wow. that shit, and it, it didn't work. Um, and the next time I got pregnant, right after we, oh. when we gave up, but when we gave up, I got natural pregnant at the age of forty four and had the baby. That's 45. amazing. Man. I know it's very, I, very, very lucky. I'm and let me lucky. tell you something about. What I've seen with you and just women. Mm-hmm. The love that you have mm-hmm. for your children oh, yeah. or child is remarkable. To see, for me, you know, when I'm eating at, a, at a, anywhere and I see a mother with her kids, with three, four kids... And she's just calm, and they're doing all kinds of stuff. And I know how my wife was, and how my mother, and yeah. I see you, and yeah. people at work. I see them on the Instagram. How much, yeah. The love that you, I, and I, I'm not saying the men don't have that. Well, it's a different vibe. Mother, I'm sorry. Mother love is the root of all, of all things. I mean that that comes back to me. Again and again, that that sort of maternal, that's that's what everyone is really looking, well, I'm going off on a tangent now. No, you're not but, going but, off on it. This is nice. But, but, but mother, the, the, the love of, of, uh, of mother is, is, um, that, that's why, that, that's when, when people, the people that like my character that I play in the show, yeah. if, if it's a character that appeals to you. Almost a hundred percent. It's it's a it's a mother thing because that is the nature of her, and that, and that you've projected your mother stuff onto yeah. what I do. That thing you know at the door when I'm yes. that that thing with the like my baby is there, and I cannot get to him. That's so raw for a yeah, woman man. with a child. That like I'm gonna get, I'm gonna get my baby, and that and I that's yeah. how I played too. I played that that door was gonna open any minute, and I was gonna hold my baby in my arms. Yeah, and then it didn't. Yeah, and, and you, you know, know what's funny is I saw that that scene and I thought to myself, I can't do that. I couldn't do that. Well, Even if I think I'm the great yeah. actor or whatever, I, that, th- there's could. something about what you did in that scene that I said, damn, 
I don't know. Okay, okay. I, I'll go half. <laughs> and I, maybe it'll still be good. You know? <laughs> but the, the, Your half is good. Yeah, yeah, the yeah. love for, uh, that, that I see with you guys who, with their kids and stuff. Dude, I, I'm on a whole tangent. This is the best. I, I don't even know what I'm going to say next. <laughs> no, no, no. I mean, that, that has that. Left to my own devices, I don't know that I would ever have said, like, okay, I'm ready to, like, give up my, you know, spraying my she power all around town and, like, having a, having a baby and doing whatever. Like, but, but having that, having a child, it may, but it makes you more of who you already were, in my opinion. Opinion. Some people are like it makes you into a different. I'm like no, it 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 makes you more of what what you already were in my experience, yeah. and when I look at other people as well. I mean, and that that's it, it amplifies a, a lot of what you already were sort of bringing into yes, your, into yes. your life. That's that's what I've seen, and, and 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 things that you never expected of yourself in terms of being able to get out of the center of your own circle and give yeah. to, to somebody else, and that just busts that. I mean, that busts your ego right open. Yes. So you and I have talked about, I don't know, do you have anxiety or not? Do you have anxiety? I would not, because I know what clinical anxiety is like, I would not call myself having what would be Since we've already been talking anxiety. so deep already, might as well get it all out. No, no. I, so you I, don't, you have depression? No, no. Uh, that's another one that because I really know what, people with clinical depression uh, suffer yeah, from yeah, 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 for yeah, me yeah. to say i have clinical depression i would say no i mean yeah i, I no, get I, and i think you... that maybe after after i think after the birth of both of the kids i went through maybe a little bit of a postpartum thing that i didn't what really pay attention postpartum? to well your chemicals are totally after you have a baby there's all this like oxytocin for nursing the baby and it's going it's coming i mean it it, it really can and what does it make havoc. you feel like well, I didn't have the real deal, but I mean, it, it's like depression and like you're supposed to be bonding with this baby and you're feeling like, oh my God, I want to jump off a cliff. That's what I'm, that's what I'm told. Mine was just sort of a little bit blue and a little bit down. Yeah. I, mean, it was, it, it, well, it, I don't think it was anything that rose to the level of, of When people of do real yes. tragic things because of, because of the, yeah. Yes. And that goes right back to that, you know. But there's levels. Level. I mean, there's. Yeah. Like everything else. Yes. Yeah. yeah. You know, for sure. I mean, and, and I, it, it really, it is really fascinating. One of the things, you know, I've, I've messed around with some of the like psychotropic stuff right now that's coming into, they're, they're starting to study what that. What the hell and, is psychotropic? Well, like, like psilocybin, like mushrooms are using that. Oh, yeah, and, yeah, and yeah. Therapeutically in yeah. ayahuasca, which I did a couple. A, oh, a couple my on ayahuasca. God. Hold on. I, and I may, sh I may shouldn't be talking about this because I know maybe it's illegal. No, or I want to hear about ayahuasca. I saw a whole show on ayahuasca on yeah. Netflix. And I'm not here to tell anyone to do it. Like, right. if, like for you, I, I always, might say like I'd think twice. Because here's, here's, yeah. I want to get into ayahuasca. Yeah, sure. But I will say this. Any, as you guys know, because I say it so much, but I'm going to say it again. Whatever we talk about, get professional help. Yes. Go to somebody professional. We're not saying do stuff. No. We're saying what we did I'm, and yes. whether it helped us or not. So yes. just to put that out there, yes. ayahuasca. Yeah, I'm not telling anyone that it's something that, and, and the main thing that I say, it's not a party drug. It's not for fun. This okay. is not something that you do because you want to go to a rave and whatever. This, it, it, it kicks your ass. Where did you go? It, well, I mean, you have to tell me specifically. Yeah, you, yeah, I can't. I mean, it was a shaman who had, had you know, you want to make sure, and it was actually another cast member of ours who I won't name, no. uh, that, that hooked me up with this, with this group of people. He's a shaman. Um, who had re had been doing these journeys for for years, and it was you go out in the desert. It's best to do it away from the energy of a big city, um, because you want and like and the Amazon. No, no, I was out yeah. in the desert. I, no, oh, or, in the or, desert. Yeah, there was one in Costa Rica that I was going yeah, go yeah, to go yeah, to. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But then the pandemic hit. I was going to go for my fiftieth birthday. Wow, um, I'm fascinated. It really it takes you to a place, and there's no way to discuss it really without sounding like you're it's ineffable it is not a, an, an experience that you can describe in yeah. words but it's so it's so enormous usually i can't talk about it without getting yeah. emotional because um i mean you see and, and it's physically so unpleasant 
That's you know, what you I throw heard. up. Yeah, yeah. And almost everybody throws up. You know, people throwing up, but it, it but it really um, the th the things that came out of it. You definitely see, without question, that there is an intelligence in the universe, and you and wow. you and you see it. You see mm -hmm. that there's an intelligence in the universe that we. At least I, at, at this point, we're not capable of taking it all in at this point. And yeah, it's running yeah, the show. Yeah. That we, and, and what it gave to me was just a message of gratitude. That was so, at a certain point, it really did say to me, you know, I have given, we've given you, not just like the candy store, like I'm not starving or I'm not a refugee or whatever, like your trip through the earth this time, we gave you the goddamn candy store. And, what? And, sorry. No, that's and, all right. And all you need to say is thank you. Every mm. fucking second of your life yeah. is thank you, uh, yeah, thank you, yeah, thank you. Yeah. And and you're so far out of your body at this point. You're in another. The other thing that you, again, this makes you sound like you're. No, right. because people know about this thing, ayahuasca. It makes it very clear that temporal time, as we understand it, is in a certain sense. A, a myth. There, there's temporal time that we experience to go through day-to-day -day life, but there's also time that exists outside the bounds of what we think, like a little train track going forward. And you sit in this place, and I've spoken to other people that have had a similar situation, and you're basically there forever. You experience the, the being in this, for me it was sort of a void, forever. And it's... it's <laughs> It's very humbling because wow. it's the most real thing that you've ever experienced. And you're going like, um, okay, you've really done it now, Lisa. You're, you're here for, you're fucking stuck. You drank this shit. Now you're just sitting in this place forever. And oh, you, you think you're in there forever. You, I, I'm telling you in a way oh. you're there forever. I may still be there on some other <laughs> plane, but you're sitting there and you're like, I'm never getting out of here. And some part of you is begging to go back to the worst thing you ever experienced in regular life. Just let this thing be, be done. And it's very, there's so much energy running through you that you, you can't handle it for, for but, but it wound up really being a message of the degree to which all we need to be is grateful, the yeah. gratitude. And you feel it viscerally wow. in a way that stays with you yeah and i'm not saying that still i don't go out and like god damn it why is it nah, 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 yeah, nah. like yeah, that'll yeah. still come back but th but there's a new normal that get that from in my experience was achieved of gratitude what everything and that really is what everything comes from is the, the yes is yes. the gratitude and when you live in that place the more you live in that place, yes the more the universe gives you back what you are yes yeah, that is. But you know, uh, I'm bipolar, so yes. that you can't do it. I would not say that. It's, <laughs> You're not. I mean, me. I would not. I I wouldn't say it. Yeah. Th that I mean, th there's a lot of different things. Like doctors in offices are doing um, therapies with ketamine. Now. Yeah, yeah, with other um, stuff, yeah. And, and you're, like, basically in a doctor's office, like, in a chair with a weighted blanket, and, like, it's injected yeah, by yeah. an anesthesiologist, so it's much more clinical. Yeah. But then they do talk therapy while you're in the state. I've not, I've not done it, but I've heard that people with PTSD, for instance, yes. like, are having really um, tremendous or, or real clinical depression, serious substance abuse problems that they just can't kick yeah. any other way, yeah. that, that this is really breaking through something. Yeah. Um, and getting your pathways open in a way that talking for 50 years isn't going to do. Yeah, so because that's I, had, I had some interest. Uh, but then I, I saw this program that says if you're bipolar, you can't. Yeah. yeah so. I mean, it, it, I, I, I believe that it, they've said it's, it can cause like psychotic break. And oh, someone who's, forget who's it. Very... But let me just tell you yeah. right now, I know that was real and amazing to you. But if, if you had written that monologue on a, in the way you said it, you'd win an Academy Award. <laughs> and I don't mean that as an acting like you were acting. I mean... It was so wonderful. I was freaking like this watching you tell this story. So let's go on another. Let's let's end this because you've been 
so damn candid and real and great, wow. and I, I love it. But let's end this on a J.H. Uh, stuff. Please. Yeah. So I want to say, uh, when I first met Lisa, I, I'm going to tell the story a thousand times, just because it's... it's I want to know what you think was the first time I met you. Oh, shoot. Uh, no, 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 say it, say yeah, it, say it. Say because it. it's true. Okay. And... Um, she came in to audition, and I was auditioning actresses for this role uh, for Kate Howard. Mm -hmm. And she walked in, and I remember I looked at Bob Guza, who's the uh, writer, and she just was great looking. And <clears throat> and then she did the scene, and I was like, what? And then you walked out, and me and Bob just looked at, us, at each other and said, damn. He says... I don't care if she reminds me of Brenda, I'm going to bring her for another role or something like that. What they told my agent at that time was, We're, we have something better for you down the road. And you, they, they did. I mean, they, they kind of they kind of did. I mean. They well, they kind of did because it, uh, obviously anybody that's not named Carly or Brenda, <laughs> I'm the kiss of death, obviously. <laughs> I mean. It, you may get incredible scenes for the two months that you're there. <laughs> I said, I've been watching this show since I'm seven years old, so I know it's a revolving door. I said to you, if I hadn't diversified with Johnny Zakara, I would have been down at the crapper <laughs> 13 years ago. That's true. Uh, but but I do remember that day very well and walking in, and, and, and I remember that in the kiss scene, because it was so bopper audition scene that you're going for every, you're, you're, they're, they're throwing every single emotion. You're going to be a bitch, then you're going to be sexy, then you're going to be ha, <laughs> then you're going to be funny, and then you're going to be like, how dare you say that to me? Ah, and then you got to like bust out a tear and scene. Like that's a soap opera audition scene, and you know. But then the sexy, sexy part, I'm supposed to come up and like kiss you. And I'm like, obviously, I'm not going to go up and like kiss the guy. But I went up and I like smelled you all over your head, which is so it's so much more invasive, wow, you know, yeah. in a certain way. That's probably probably freaked you out. I came out and I smelled you, and I th it, and 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 I actually told that story to Tony Geary. He's like, that's a great idea, and he did that with me in a scene when he was playing like bad Luke Spencer. Like, what was it? He was like the evil uh, yeah, counter Luke Spencer, and he did that. He's like, I'm gonna try that. He's like, and I remember being like, what the? <laughs> it is very. And I don't it, remember that. You don't remember me smelling? Nah. I just remembered. You smelled very good. Yeah, because I got polo. <laughs> I just remember how great you were, and oh. and it was like, but I knew Bob was gonna bring you back. And then our first scene together. I remember that like it was yesterday. Yeah, I do so too. much fun. I was so I was very okay. Look, I don't really get nervous anymore now. I no. don't, but what forever I did, mm -hmm. and that particular day, I was very nervous. Really, ah, oh. before doing the scene or during? During, before, during, because I made you nervous while acting. Yeah, because first of all, I'm that way because okay, all that stuff is in there, right? I love the this. nerves and and. And also, because then I was more, I had a lot of darkness. You had a totally different mask. You were a different guy in those right. days. Right. So I was like the method and, yes. I, you, know, every, you know, for me, everything had to be, had to work. So I wanted yes. us to work. Yes. Yes. And every scene had to work. Yes. Whereas now I'm like, eh, I just come in and do it. I don't mean that I'm like... No, it's lightened yeah, I'm you. more relaxed Absolutely. and whatever. But then everything had to... So this had to work with you and this, and then I had to fight with the producer for something. You know, yes, that's the way I I my, my life was. I remember that. So I was very nervous. I just... And I don't... I was always nervous, but I remember that particular day we were on a bar, right? In a yeah, bar? Yeah, yeah. And I was just nervous. Those are beautifully written scenes. And they were cool. Yeah. And the scenes were real cool and this and this and that. Uh, so, but now she's got like. Ned, he's such a good guy, except for that he cheated Hi, on me. Hi, Ned. But she's still no. I mean, she's still got. She's still got some. She's still got some teeth. So it's hard to be the person on that canvas who is sort of like moral compass. Yeah. Because you always wind up being a bit of a hypocrite when you get in someone's face about like you shouldn't do this, 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 or this. Everyone's like, seriously, bitch. Like, yeah. come on now. But I mean, I love, I love our characters as friends. No, it's, I love it. it. Those are great. Yeah. See, it's friends, 
that know each other in a way that not all friends do, that have that but history. I, I, don't, I like it friends too, and then we kiss every once in a while. It wouldn't be bad either. <laughs> We have but a you dream, gotta, dream you're like, sequences. No, no, no. I don't want to get too close. <laughs> no, uh, I need a job. Please. <laughs> and, you know, it's like right now, I'm play, I told you I'm playing this guy, Mike. And it's like, you know, I'm having fun. And I'm there, but, but it's like, uh, then it's like, go back to Sunny. Go back to Sunny everywhere I go. When are you going back? When are you going back? I'm, I'm on the show. What are you doing? Everybody loves Sonny, and that's not a bad thing. No, I know it's not a bad thing, but everybody, but I love Olivia. No, some of those scenes where we played where I was just like giving you shit no, and stuff it's fun, like man. back when, when we were not any more particularly romantic, but I could like, she could rib you, and you knew she had your back, and yeah, that, yeah, there was good. love yeah. there, uh, but and dude, we knew each other. But, those, that was but fun. But Ned doesn't want it. Wally gets jealous if you and I get too close. I know how that Wally works. Wally can handle it. And Wally Dominic is like, he's like three years younger than you. <laughs> I love my baby. He's family. He's family in real life. So I can only. Well, you know, I mean, when I read it with Dominic, it's the same thing that, that happened with you. It's really? funny because it's almost like everybody in this, uh, and I don't want to offend anybody who I read. I, you know, I've I read with some, you know, Max and, yeah. but you, Kelly Sullivan and Dominic yeah. were out of, were like, just on fire where where you you go where well me then now i don't know i don't have i don't say much but then it would be like you better hire the you know what i, mean? I get you because i get you they're that good you can't Aww. let the no no yeah well, that's, it was. i mean i was very when they actually called and said that they had written this role for me as an actor that i had never experienced yeah. Experience. Oh, you know what? They wrote the role for me on One Life to Live, actually. All my children, me too. Um, so that, although it was then voted, I believe, like the worst storyline in the history of daytime television when I was the head of the Puerto Rican oh, Mafia. Oh, that's right. That's right. People did not cotton to that <laughs> whole storyline. So, uh, but this, this, I mean, I would like to play this role until I'm 150 years old. Yeah, you I, do it. I love I love this woman. I love this yeah. alternate universe that I'm in and yeah. getting to get to that five, four, three, two, one, and you're in this world. Yeah. Yeah. And now after how many years? I mean, you know better than anybody. They do that countdown and you've been transported into this other world. And that's what it's like working with you too. I mean, that's what yeah. I always teach you about the eyes that yeah, paralyze. Yeah. Like you get into his eyes and it's like you can't Fake it because well, you're so present with it, which is well, I tell you, actor's dream. With me, whether people know this or not, because you may have a different opinion if you haven't worked with me. Mm -hmm. I'm there for the other actor. I'm not like this guy who, Dude. it's all me, me, me. I'm, I want you to be great. That's And that you wouldn't, maybe if you don't know me, you would think that's not the case. I understand that there is another version of looking at what we do. My husband's a director and he, he was watching the show one day early, early, early on. He saw me doing a scene with a person. He's like, do you understand that this is blood sport for that person? And I'm like, what are you talking about? Yeah. Like, I don't even know what you mean. He goes, this, this person is trying to kill you in these scenes. Yeah. This is not... And I'm like, and, and it really, it freaked me out for a while until I just was like, you know what? I don't get that. And I, I of the number of things that you have to think about or you have to bring into your state of being when you're acting, the idea of like, I'm going to clobber this other person and like not, I, I can't imagine adding that into the recipe of what you had to think about. But I yes. get it that that is maybe where some people come from. Yeah. Well, they, they expect, they think, but it's not that. I mean, it doesn't win anything. I don't know. No, now notice. I've only I've done it not a lot, but I've done it when somebody doesn't work hard and they and I feel I get you. you know, and then I'm like, all right, now I gotta have to go in there and, and show you that that kind of thing. But I don't like doing that. I like I like you to be great because if you're great, I'm better and blah 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 blah. And totally. All right, we're gonna end this, but I, I wanna say uh you're organization habitat for habitat humanity. For humanity for sure J just to say a little bit about that just because you know it's important oh my god i mean we have missed doing the builds that we that we used to do obviously with the pandemic we hadn't been doing them and 
my big dream was to get one together with all the soaps together, building a sh thing with the fans come in. And it, it used to be the only game in town where we, the fans yeah. got to be with the whatever, but it's such a great organization. Their line is, you know, giving people hand up, not hand out. And it's about how yeah, living somewhere safe, which is like such Beautiful, a yeah. basement of what everyone deserves on the planet Earth. Beautiful. Food, shelter, yeah. you know, you deserve not to live in squalor. And it really helps people to, and, and to start building wealth as well. It really is one of those organizations that, that completely changes people's lives. And you see it. It's not one of those things where they're like, could you come to our thing and like swan around on a red carpet and like wave. Like you get in there, you hammer nails and you meet the families whose lives are being changed by this organization. It's great. I encourage everybody. This, this is with a no disclaimer. If you have like working arms and legs, call your Habitat for Humanity chapter and, uh, Go do a build. You won't be regretful. anything that, that anybody does to to help to really help. Yeah, is is amazing. I think it's, yeah. it should be done. Got to. Got All to. right, we're gonna we're gonna. This has been just uh, amazing talk for me. It 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 really has been. I don't know what I expected. But I guess this is like when I saw that video of of her <laughs> with the you know when I got the Emmy and oh. <laughs> th th this is like that because that, that took that for you to know I love you. <laughs> Come on now. Come on now. Because I just it was just fascinating that that story of oh, whatever that I watched that what is it <laughs> ayahuasca. Now I, I'm going to be ayahuasca lady ayahuasca forever. Ayahuasca was just. <laughs> It was amazing. So yeah. I, I just want to say thanks for coming. Um, thanks for having me. Yeah, we got emotional. It's nice. And and, and like I say, I, I'm going to say it again, and I'm going to put it up on my Instagram. Mm -hmm. Anybody who tells another person not to cry is not cool. Ever. Yeah. Well, a lot of you know what you learn in shrink school? Don't hand someone a Kleenex when they start crying because that's, that's basically subtly telling them <laughs> when someone good. starts to cry, yes. you encourage them to sit up straight so that that energy can come out and not clean yeah, it in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You don't be like, here's a Kleenex. Yeah. <laughs> People think they're being helpful, but they're telling you to or be they, quiet. Or they make fun of it. Oh, Lord. What, I, I, what I, heathens I, are you li living around? Well, <laughs> I won't get into that. Okay. All right. Uh, thank cry you, every day. Yeah, cry every day. It's, cry it's, every day. Cry, cry. I used to say my tears were were, were strength coming down. Cleans out your yeah. brain. All right. Thank you. Thank you.